Hello, this is Monica Trapagan with the National Weather Service in Salt Lake City. This briefing will discuss a winter storm that will impact Utah and southwest Wyoming Wednesday and Thursday. This briefing was created on November 15, 2016 and should not be used after November 16. While high pressure seemingly endless rain is about to come to an end, a Pacific storm system will move across the forecast area Wednesday and Thursday, bringing much colder temperatures, gusty pre- and post-frontal winds, significant mountain snow, and even some snow in the valleys. Let's take a look at the system in a bit more detail. First, we'll discuss the timing of the system. The initial frontal boundary will first move into far northwest Utah on Wednesday morning. However, it's not really expected to get moving until the main system approaches Wednesday afternoon. The front will move across northern Utah and southwest Wyoming Wednesday afternoon and evening before moving through central and southern Utah early Thursday morning. Precipitation will spread across the area with the front beginning Wednesday evening and will continue, heavy at times, through Thursday morning. Mountain snow showers will linger into Thursday afternoon. Snow levels will fall to the valley floors Thursday morning, and there is a possibility of lake effect snow. Now let's take a look at impacts. First and foremost, we're going to see a big change in temperatures. Today's record-breaking temperatures will be a distant memory by Thursday, with high temperatures expected to drop in excess of 30 degrees Fahrenheit. With the colder weather coming, be sure to take necessary precautions. We'll also see gusty winds from the south ahead of the front across much of the state. These could cause some travel difficulties along west-to-east routes, so be careful when traveling. Northwest winds behind the front will also be quite gusty, particularly in the northwest desert and those areas that see northwesterly downslope winds. And yes, this system will bring the return of snow. We're expecting 6 to 12 inches in the mountains of Utah, which will cause travel impacts. It should be noted that all high elevation seasonal roadways, such as Mirror Lake and Skyline Drive, remain open at this time. Travel over the higher terrain is discouraged Wednesday night into Thursday morning. The mountain valleys in southwest Wyoming should see about 1 to 3 inches with the storm. Northern and western valleys should see about 1 to 2 inches, but given the warm road temperatures, accumulations will primarily be confined to grassy surfaces. Given the cold storm moving into the area with lake temperatures remaining high, there is the potential for lake effect or lake enhanced snow on Thursday morning. If this happens, snowfall totals in locations downwind of the lake could be much higher than expected, and snow in the valleys on Thursday morning could impact the commute along the Wasatch Front. However, keep in mind that confidence in any lake effect snow and where it may fall is low at this time. So in summary, we'll see a Pacific storm system move through the area Wednesday into Thursday. Temperatures behind the system on Thursday will be around 30 degrees cooler than temperatures observed today. Gusty winds will develop both ahead of and behind the front. Significant mountain snow will fall, and this will cause travel difficulties on high elevation routes. Snow levels will drop to the valley floors, so valley locations will see light snow accumulations, primarily on grassy surfaces. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to send us an email. You can also like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter.